G'day folks, Thunderballs here and welcome back. Today is pretty much six months since I started doing Star Citizen videos on YouTube and we are pretty much right on the doorstep of Invictus Week. I started doing the YouTube videos for IAE and now six months later, we're up to another in-game convention. So this one is a little bit different but similar to the IAE one where I'm going to show off some things, but they're more leaks and spoilers than the day-by-day -day videos of the convention itself. So if you're not interested in having a look at leaks and spoilers, please jump ahead to the Game Glass giveaway chapter towards the end of the video where you can find out more information about the giveaway that is going at the moment, which this video will be included in. So let's have a look at the save the date video that SIG provided for us last week and then we can get on with the leaks and spoilers. Let's check it out. I see a Polaris. Looks like some med runners and a Polaris. Again, more Polaris. Got to find a really good vantage point, vantage point in uh, Area 18 to see this flyby. That should be awesome. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, let's get on with the spoilers. To start us off with, I'm going to start with the map of the Bevic Convention Center in Area 18. So this is going to show us what is on display and when. So the 1st and 2nd of May, we have the Argo Astronautics, RSI, Consolidated Outland and Origin Jump Works manufacturers. And looking at the map, we can see that the RSI Polaris is dead center in the Convention Center. Whether we're going to be able to get inside that or not, I don't know. Uh, but it's going to be awesome to be actually see it in person and compare the size of that against the constellations that are going to be surrounding it. We can also see over in Hall 1, we have the Argo SRV and the MPUVs. And we have a new naming convention as well as a new MPUV. So we have the 1C, which is the cargo, the 1P, which is the passenger, and now we will have the 1T, which is the tractor. And we will see more of that in this video a bit later. We'll also see more of the Polaris. And if we have a look downstairs, we've got the holograms. I would imagine they're the holo viewers of the Zeus MR, Perseus, and the Origin G12A. Also looking over at Hall, Four, we have another new ship, which is the Ursa Rover Medivac. Myself and quite a few others, I believe, have been calling it the Ursa Red, uh, but it looks like they're actually going to name it the Medivac. Third to fourth, we have the Tumbrel Crusader Industries, MISC and Mirai manufacturers in Hall 2 and 3. The only new things that I can see on here is the Mirai Pulse, which will be on display in Hall 3. And downstairs in the hollow viewer, we have the Tumble Ranger. Moving on, May 5th and 6th, we have the Aegis Dynamics manufacturer in Hall 1 and 4. So moving on, May 5th and 6th, we have Aegis Dynamics on display. The only new ship that I can see here is the Aegis Saber Firebird. And we're going to see more of that a little bit later. So the Aegis is actually taking up three halls, halls 2 one and four and downstairs we have the vulcan and nautilus on display in the hollow viewers 7th and 8th of may we have anvil aerospace manufacturer on display starting off downstairs the hollow viewer we have the crucible the legionnaire and the liberator i cannot wait to see the liberator i really want to get one of those um i will eventually have one and we have, over in Hall 1, where all the Hornets are, we can see the F7C Mark II, but also the F7A. Now, it doesn't specify it's the Mark II, so potentially we're going to have the F7A Mark I available. Also, the Lightning F8 
is also going to be on display. So earlier I mentioned the Sabre Firebird coming in. We now have the Sabre Raven Gold Pass. And in this Gold Pass, we have some videos as well as some pictures. So let's have a look and see what the Gold Pass brings us. Now we're inside the cockpit, and it was very nice. I love the blue LED lights. Very clean. So here we can see the components coming out. Cool. That's it. Awesome. The Sabre Raven Gold Pass. From the Sabre Raven to the Sabre Firebird. New ship coming out. Once again, looks nice, sounds nice. And we also have a slideshow of some of the pictures down the bottom left there. Some different angles. Missile bay underneath, what have we got? 12 missiles. I do like the uh, red, white, and grey, but uh, we also have uh, like a tan, a green, and a darker grey skin that will be available as well. So it's cockpit. Looks pretty cool. Nice and clean. Instead of the blue, I've got a bit more green and red. Looks a bit crispy. That's fine. Sounds nice inside as well. Sabres. Uh, I think I'm starting to like sabres now. Have to get me some. Maybe one or two. Now for something a little bit bigger, we have the RSI Polaris. Oh, what a beast of a ship this is. And this still isn't the biggest of the ships that uh, we can get, obviously. But still a very nice ship. We don't have any sound with this video. Suppose this, but maybe it's just the exterior, a video of the exterior. I really hope that they can uh, keep pumping out these bigger ships. Back to something smaller, the RSI Ursa Medivac. This also comes with a few different paint jobs that we can get. I would imagine this is the base one with the red. We can see the interior on the slideshow there. Got all our, oh, we've got a gun rack. Medical supplies, I would imagine. Okay. Med bed. Most likely won't be able to respawn. I would say it'll just be a tier 3 bed, similar to the C8R Pisces. There's our components. Got some storage, maybe. I 
the fold up console. Ah, uh, there's our other skins. So we've got like a teal, a grey, and a blue. Check fire. Friendly fire. Okay, and the last video that I have is the MPUV tractor. So this is a very minimal version of the MPUV. So obviously there's no fuselage. Uh, you've got the cabin. You've got a massive tractor beam on the top. And it looks like maybe a slightly smaller one on the back. Um, I would imagine this would be for moving things around. I don't know if anything attaches underneath it. Looks very weird. And some additional paint jobs we just saw on the slideshow there. Let's have another look at that video because that was. I just want to go back to this section here. It looks so lanky with the landing gear down. And that massive tractor beam on top, it just it looks so silly. Uh, yeah, so we've got a grey, a yellow, and a red paint job as well as the orange. But honestly, for Argo, why would you use anything other than orange? Okay, so when I said that, that was the last video, I lied. Because I also have a video of the Retaliator modules. So first up is the basic module, which looks like it has a couple of small cargo areas. And here we go, we have the cockpit with some nice red accents. Looks like a bit of a, a leathery sort of material. We've got our bed. Uh, moving up, no, nope, can't go up there. Okay, so we can. I, I like how we can see through the glass on the left there. Continuing through to the back, we've got possibly an engineering panel or something. Uh, some sort of storage area or possibly a lift maybe for a vehicle uh, those four little pillars in each quarter look like they could be pistons to raise and lower the elevator it's hard up the back coolers up the back as well one or two We've got the uh, escape hatch, maybe. Not the escape hatch, but the docking collar. An empty component bay of some sort. Storage, maybe. Air conditioning vents. That looks pretty cool. Okay, and then we've got the cargo module. Fairly decent sized cargo space there. Possibly. Uh, 32 SU there, similar to the, no, 64, or something something similar to the 64, similar to the C1 size. Yeah, could be the docking collar or something, air conditioning vents again. Is that the same one, or, that, that's, no, that's smaller. That one was definitely smaller, so that one's probably going to hold maybe half of the amount that this one will. A bit more cockpit. Bed. It's everything you need. But I do love that window. That is awesome being able to see into there. Okay, last but not least of the leaks and spoilers is we have some new libraries. So we've got Alien Week libraries for the Santokiai and Sulin. Bit of a green and red and blue and purpley sort of feel. Next up, we've got the Dying Star libraries, which is for the Corsair, the Cutlass, the Cutter, and the Vulture. 
Now these look like they've got graffiti on them and they're labeled as pyro. So I don't know whether they're coming out early or with pyro or what's happening with that, but they look pretty cool. Next, we've got three different paint jobs for the Retaliator. I would imagine it would suit both the bomber and the base variants, but we've got a tanny light brown, a lime, well, very light lime green, and a sort of fiery orange yellow. Looks pretty cool, I think. I think out of those, I do like the I do like the orange one, the fiery one. That looks pretty cool. Then we've got some F7 skins. Now, I don't know whether these are for F7As or F7Cs or Super Hornets or what they're for exactly. Uh, possibly the F7As, I think. But they're only labeled as F7s. Now, we've got a nice blue, a nice camo, and a gray, white, and orange. I do like the blue and the camo, the gray and white one, not so much. And thanks for watching, guys. That's all I have for you for today, other than to tell you more about the Game Glass giveaway that I have at the moment. Still waiting on confirmation from Game Glass, but I do have, at minimum, a two pack of Pulse bikes. So you get the Pulse, the Pulse LX, two Dominion paints as well as lifetime insurance and a self-land hanger. I'm finding out whether I can give away two of those packs. Otherwise, I'm also interested to find out whether I can give away a single Pulse bike, which would be at the winner's choice for either a Pulse or a Pulse LX. A Pulse pack, which is the two Pulses, one of each, the two Dominion paint, paints, uh, lifetime insurance and the self-land hanger. The single bike will also have lifetime insurance and then a third prize of a five paint pack so then we could have three winners potentially getting something first prize would be the twin pack second prize the single bike and third prize the paint pack otherwise it would be two twin packs so thanks for watching guys i do appreciate all the support that you guys provide whether it's a like or a subscribe on the channel uh, today, the, the subscriptions have gone through the roof, you know, for, well, for my channel at least anyway. So yesterday I was sitting at 219 subscribers, today I'm up to 307. Uh, so thank you so much to everybody that has subscribed today, it's awesome, it's really appreciated. So everybody that comments on my videos for this particular giveaway will get one entry per video. If you would like to support the channel even further, please head over to Patreon and subscribe over there. There are two different levels. A general supporter, which will give you two additional entries into all giveaways. If you comment on at least one video for that giveaway, that will cost you 10 AU dollars per month. Uh, that's equivalent of approximately three US dollars or three uh, pounds. Also, the second level is a shout out supporter where i will post at the end of a video thanks to the shout out supporters over on patreon that is ten dollars a year a month or six us or pounds per month if you become a shout out supporter you gain five automatic entries into all giveaways regardless of whether you comment or not so if you want extra entries into all of my giveaways please head over to patreon and subscribe over there you will greatly help my channel and me to be able to provide you with more content so i hope you enjoyed the video today thank you very much for watching hey folks thunder here thank you very much for watching this video special shout out to my patreon supporters you guys are awesome thank you so much for supporting me thanks to everybody else who also supports the channel whether it's a subscribe a like a comment a share or jumping onto my Discord channel and catching up on there. Once again, thank you very much, everybody. And until next time, thunder out.